So you're a philosopher? Yes. 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 I think very deeply. I think very deeply. Size is the importance of personal healing. You see, you know, I know a lot of us are very concerned about the bad. And I get it because we have to have the bag. But here's one thing that I really want you to realize that I don't think that we're factoring in. You see, success on any level, whether it be on the entrepreneurship level or whether it be from the position of you operating as an employee, as a supervisor, as a CEO, whatever the case may be, success it has its limitations. It's like, and what I mean is that we can get only so far operating under a certain mindset. Operating from a survival mindset, a survival uh, mentality or position. We only can get so far in life with that mentality. And you see, one thing about the survival mindset, it is a doggy dog type of mindset. When I say dog eat dog, I'm saying dog eat dog mindset. And that mindset is one that is very selfish and it doesn't really give to uh, <laughs> this is what I'd be glad to say. It don't really give two fucks about another person. I, 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 I was about to say it and I pulled it in but I'm, let me go ahead and keep it authentic with you. But anyway, it don't really give two fucks about another person. And let me tell you, the whole, everything in creation is social by its nature. What I mean when I say that? I'm saying from the plants, plants need other plants to grow in fruition. How, why I say that? Well, because every plant also has a masculine and feminine gender. You see, some plants have it in its makeup. It has a duality makeup, like the plant is feminine and masculine in its makeup, and it, it like pollinates itself. But other plants um, re require other plants. And if the plant doesn't require another plant, then a plant sometimes require like animals. Like, I think if I'm correct, how bees pollinate certain flowers or certain plants. So my point is that for something to reach its full fruition, for something to reach its full fruition, it needs something else, another living being. <laughs> Y'all pardon me, I have a brother just pulling up on me. But it needs another living being to help it reach its full fruition. And, uh, <laughs> y'all pardon me again, but anyway. So, that's on a small level in a sense. Right? That's on like a more of a scientific level. Everything needs something else to help it. Another living being to help it. There's no such thing as being independent. Everything has an interdependent relationship with something else. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying I mean I'm saying that it needs something else. It, it's, it's survival, it's existence, it's growth, it's evolution is dependent on another living thing. Now, I hope that that made a point because now I want to take it and bring it back to us. You see, our, you know how you ever heard the saying that your, at, your attitude uh, determines your altitude? Why is that? Why is, or why does your attitude determine your altitude? What does that have to do with anything? My altitude being how far I actually rise up, how far I ascend. Why does my attitude have anything to do with my rise or level of success? Why? Because it has everything to do with your interaction with another human being. And see, I try so hard to impress on you how important it is for you to begin the process of personal healing the process of embarking up on the journey 
of uprooting all of the negative seeds, the counterproductive seeds, the poisonous and antisocial seeds that we have attain over our years of development through unhealthy and negative and counterproductive social programming as well as unhealthy forms of love. You see, it was back in, I would say, when I was around 20, 2021, and I was caught in a, in a, what you call it, a, a whirlwind. I didn't know how to get out. It's because I come up like that, like all my life, where I'm always suffering and crying. And so I found myself at a point to where I want out. I'm trying to make sense of life, but I don't know how to get out. And I don't know how to ask someone to help me out. Do you understand? I'm in, I'm in a place in my life at this particular time where I didn't know how to express and communicate what I was feeling and what I was thinking. And it took me down a very dark journey. But in that journey, I've realized today that it was the answer to my prayers. It was the cry and the calling for help that I had um, done so, so many times. The, 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 all that I had suffered at that time was necessary to break certain psychological uh, bondages that I had upon my mind. It took all of that and all that I had to go through even following that to get to where I am today. And so now, because of that journey, I've understood and I've understood why that all happened and why it's important to me, but also it is the reason why I've embarked upon the journey that I've embarked upon today, which is to help others who want to free themselves from the uh, heartache and cycle that one finds themselves constantly going through. The heartache, heartache and cycles of relationships. You know what I'm saying? Because when you think about it, everything that you suffer, is as the result of some other relationship with another human being. Whether it be at work, at school, on the freeway, you know, in your home, it has something to do with another human being. It can be your parent, it can be uh, uh, the children, <laughs> you know? So what I want us to understand that, that is my whole purpose and reason is to provide or extend out a hand to help others who desire to get out of those cycles of heartache and pain into a level or place of living and existing where they are able to really uh, and truly establish, attain and sustain a peace of mind. Because there's nothing more valuable than a peace of mind. We all strive for happiness, which is, in another way of describing it, is only a peace of mind. It is the AKA of happiness. It's peace of mind. One just really wants a peace of mind. But in our thinking, we associate having happiness or this peace of mind with material gain. But study and look at all of the many people with millions of dollars who still are not happy. How do you know? All you have to do is look at the things that they gravitate towards to bring validation to their life. Look how people do all of the surgery changes and uh, people, you know, even alcohol, you know, even alcohol, for all of those of us who partake in alcohol, even alcohol is a sign of not being totally fulfilled or happy with reality. Do you understand what I'm saying? So in a way, that's what I extend out 
with Enlightened Minds Enterprise. Gerald Hassan, Master Life Coach, Personal Healer and Social Health. Click the link in the bio um, and reserve you a 30 minute free strategy session so that we can sit down and come up with a strategy and plan for you to get out of that cycle that has been causing you so much heartache for so long. Peace and blessings.